Welcome back YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Wired for Crappie. So you guys are probably wondering, what's he gonna do today? Well today, got something special for you. So I've been asked a lot about catching fish on brush without live scope. So I'm gonna show you guys today how I fished pre-live scope on brush piles. We're gonna locate, mark, fish, and catch fish off brush today without live scope. It's gonna be a good show. Hopefully you guys will learn a little something. We're gonna do a little teaching. So stick with us, we'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. So let's talk real quick about marker buoys, okay? There's generally two main types of marker buoys, and you rather see the square marker buoy or the round barrel marker buoy, okay? I fish with both, I use both. I will tell you the square buoy is more reliable for when you throw that buoy out, it actually spinning and sinking on that weight, sinking on your brush pile. These, uh, these uh, uh, barbell buoys are real bad about throwing them out and them not spinning. So you know what I'm talking about. If you've ever thrown one of these out and it doesn't spin and you go back, you have to pick it up and throw it again. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen that is actually a sod staple. You take a water bottle, cut them in half, couple sod staples, a little bit of concrete, you throw this bad boy in the lake, it's going to the bottom, period. So that's how I rectified that, uh, that not no spin on that barbell buoy. If you throw these out or you have these, you don't need to get new ones. You can do something like this right here that'll alleviate that problem. That's a little tip, but I prefer that square buoy if you have it, that H buoy. Um, like I said, it'll, it'll come right out of the package and it will spin for you. So. Anyway, let's, uh, let's roll down through here, see if we can't find a good brush pile to uh, mark, and I'll show you guys how I mark this. So I'm gonna try my best, guys, to video my screen, keep you guys here, and let you guys see what's going on on the screen and here so you can see me throw this buoy out. I'm not promising anything, okay, but I'm gonna try it, so let's give it a shot. All right, so when I'm idling with my HDS units, I like to be right there around that four mile an hour mark. Let's see if we can find a brush pile. I like to run three to four mile an hour at idle. So right now I've got you guys looking at down imaging. comes on the screen I want this buoy to go out so I mark that pile right on top and I want to go right out the back of the boat okay there's that brush pile that buoy's right out the back of the boat on top of it all right guys so once you have that buoy marked okay what I like to do is I like to go up just continue straight Make a loop around, turn back around, get lined up with that buoy, cut the motor off. Your boat's, remember, your boat's gonna drift back. So once your boat starts drifting back, that gives you time to get up on the trolling motor, get your trolling motor down, get your rods, get everything ready, and then you can start fishing, okay? So we're gonna get all our stuff ready, get our rods, get uh, the mo trolling motor down, turn around on this brush pile, and we'll be right back to catch a few. So we've got a general area where our brush pile is, but we're gonna still have to do a little fan casting, okay? 
even though we have a general area, we're still going to have to do a little bit of fan casting to figure out where that brush is located. Once we figure out where that brush is located, then we'll be good. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten count. Real, real pause. Real, real pause. I'm just gonna work this brush pile real slow. Right like that. It's a good fish right there. All right, good one, guys. It's a good one to start out with. Nice white crappie. Pretty fish. Good fish. That's it, guys. That's all you got to do. If you don't have live scope, you can still catch crappie. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Just a slow retrieve. I like a real, real pause. It's a real couple cranks. Pause for a couple seconds. There's one in every crowd. There's another one. Another good fish. Good fish. A little smaller, but still respectable. Sorry, I got race boats in here with me. Summer fishing. So basically what you're doing guys on that real real pause when you reel that bait's going to rise in the water column and then when you pause it's going to fall back down okay you got to give that bait time to fall back to the brush if you fish over top of the fish too far you'll never get bit again you just kind of want to fan cast and work your way around that brush pile You want to try to feel your way through it and guys you're gonna get hung okay you're going to get hung that's just the nature of fishing brush but if you can minimize your hang-ups and if there's active fish down there they're gonna bite it before you hang in it So you're just, I'm just feeling my way through that brush. Trying to feel the brush and the bite. There's brush. There's a bite. I tapped the brush, and boy, he whacked it. Good fish, too. Golly. Look at that fish. Yes, sir. So I felt the brush, I felt that jig run a rub up against that brush. He whacked it. Nice crappie. Nice fish. Good one. I love it. I absolutely love it. You don't have to have live scope. I said that before. I'll say it again. Of course, every time I talk, the race boats start their motors. But I'll say it and say it and say it. You don't have to have live scope. Live scope just makes you more efficient and it allows you to pick brush apart a little easier where you're not going to lose as many jigs. Got him. Woo, bass. <laughs> oh, did you guys see that? That was a jump right there. I think it's a little smallmouth. We got here. Nope, a little largey. Boy, he jumped though. I hope I got that jump. I mean, he come up, he jumped. A little large mouth. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> uh.
One other thing to remember, guys, is when you pitch that bait out or cast that bait out, make sure you leave your bail open and allow line to strip off so that your bait falls straight down. If you close your bail, your bait is going to pendle them back to you, and you may, you may uh, pendle them back over top of the fish before the bait gets down to them. So always allow, I'm hung. Always allow your bait to fall straight down in the water column, okay? Once you do this enough, guys, you'll get a real good feeling for what's brush, what's fish. Good fish, solid fish. That's a good crappie. That's a black and chartreuse stump bug, guys. There he is. Good fish too. Nice fish. Simple guys. Nice fish. That's a good fish too. All right. <laughs> yeah, boy. All right. Come here. Come here. It's a gurdon. A gurdon. Good fish right there, guys. Nice white crappie. No live scope. See you, buddy. Go a little deeper this time. Let's go 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's one. Little guy. Nice crappie, though. It's a crappie. A little crappie, but it's a crappie. It's a decent fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was hung. It come loose. And that joker right there grabbed a hold of it. Good night. That's a big old black crappie. That's a pretty fish right there, guys. Pretty fish. That's a nice one. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Nice fish. No live scope. Black and chartreuse stump bug. <laughs> uh, I get giddy. Sorry, but I just get giddy. Another good one, my gosh. 
Another good fish, man. It's a white, black and white off the same pile. That's a good fish right there. Good healthy fish. Thick back on him. Nice fish. There he is. Oh, another good. Get in here. <laughs> I smacked myself in the face with it. <laughs> Yeah, I smacked myself in the face. I'll put that on the blooper reel. <laughs> oh, I smacked myself in the face. The fish, that's pretty funny. Boat flipping them and smacking myself in the face. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. I love fishing without live scope, too. You know, you can't see them bite and they surprise you. Oh, it's so much fun. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. I hope that helps. I hope you guys learned a little something about how I fish brush piles. I've always fished brush piles this way before live scope, I guess pre live scope. Um, I always fish this way. This is the way I prefer to fish. Live scope just made me more efficient of an angler um, fishing brush because I can work a brush pile a lot quicker and a lot better. Uh, with live scope, but you can still catch a lot of fish without live scope. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helps. I hope you learned something. Uh, you know, my passion is to teach. I appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget, subscribe. If you hadn't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Uh, let YouTube know that you support the channel. Hit the like button before you leave if you like the video. And we'll see you guys next week. Don't forget my live on Wednesday night, 9 o'clock live right here question and answer on on wired for crappie on the channel and uh we'll see y'all get you guys then and next week as well on our next fishing video so i appreciate you again for watching and all, as always guys god bless